Finding my grandfather's recipe in the file box definitely changed my life. When I was growing up, I was aware my grandfather had all these recipes in file boxes, and they were stored in our attic. And I saw this donut recipe in one of the file boxes, and so I was interested in uh, trying this recipe right away. So in fact, that same day, my dad and I took this recipe and we made donuts that same day. And uh, I couldn't believe how good they were. I kept asking my dad, what did grandpa's donuts taste like? And he said they tasted just like this. And I was like, wow, they're so good. And he would tell me you know, a few stories about, uh, you know, my grandfather making the donuts because he actually he used to make the donuts the very end of the day it was the very last thing he made at the bakery you know so he didn't even start making them until two o'clock and then when my father would get off uh, from school he would come into the bakery and his job was to glaze the donuts after my grandfather uh, fried them it changed my life and it changed many other people's life too not only was able to start my own business from something my grandfather left behind and I actually developed a relationship with my grandfather through this recipe and through my bakery. My feelings for my grandfather are through the donut recipe, you know? It's like, uh, and through everything I go through at the bakery, you know, I can relate to his life. Growing up, I'd heard how my grandfather owned his own business, the bakery. It never really entered my mind that I would do it, you know? And uh, after I got, uh, I guess, you know, you get kind of worn out working for other people and stuff. I thought very spontaneously about uh, starting my own business. You know, it was, I didn't put a lot of thought into it. Probably if I put a lot of thought into it, I would have gotten scared and I wouldn't have done it. But it was, I, the memory came back to me of when my father and I made those donuts together.